You asked for it, so here it is. Another list of 10 players you may not have heard of, but every football fan should know. 10. Matthias Zammer It takes a lot for a defensive player to win the Ballon d'Or, and Matthias Zammer was a very special footballer. Born in Dresden, he represented East Germany until 1990, when the country was reunited, and he won 74 caps between the two federations. He won titles with Stuttgart and Dortmund, as well as the Champions League with BVB and Euro 96 with Die Mannschaft. That triumph saw him named the tournament's best player, and he picked up the Ballon d'Or that same year, over Ronaldo, Maldini, Alan Shearer, Desailly and Cantona. Later a manager, Zama coached Dortmund to another title in 2002 and took Stuttgart to within a point of Champions League qualification. And as a sporting director, he helped Bayern to an historic treble in 2013. 9. Len Shackleton For all the talk of half spaces and zonal marking, football is a spectator sport and no one understood that better than 40s and 50s superstar Len Shackleton. Christened the Clown Prince of Soccer, the Englishman bagged 134 goals in 427 games at Bradford, Newcastle and Sunderland, but never won a trophy. Instead, Shackleton became famous for using his fantastic ball control to humiliate opponents. He would play one-twos with the corner flag, sit down on the ball as defenders tried to tackle him, score penalties with a back heel and even stop dribbling to look at his watch if his team was leading in the dying minutes. At one point the most expensive British player ever, when he cost Sunderland £20,500 in 1948, Shackleton had more in common with Ronaldinho and JJ Okocha than he did with Stanley Matthews. He died in 2000, aged 78. 8. Hans Krankel from the Wunder team of the 1930s to David Alaba, Austria has a proud footballing tradition, and Hans Krankel was one of the world's best strikers in the 70s and 80s. A rapid Wien legend, Krankel also spent three years with Barcelona, and in his whole career hit 434 goals in 586 games. That's a better strike rate than Cristiano Ronaldo. In 1978, Krankel hit 29 goals in 30 games in his first season with the Blaugrana, came in second for the Ballon d'Or and helped Austria qualify for their first World Cup in two decades. At the tournament itself, he scored twice against reigning champions West Germany to give Austria their first win over their neighbours in 47 years. Overall, Krankel hit 34 in 69 for his country and won eight trophies at club level. He later returned to manage Wien and the national team and had a semi-successful music career, reaching second in the Austrian charts in 1985. 7. Zbigniew Boniek Scrabble jackpot Zbigniew Boniek is one of Poland's greatest sons, a forward who turned out for Roma and Juventus during the 1980s, becoming famous for his frightening turn of pace and mesmeric close control. After two titles in Poland with Wojcic, Boniek went on to win Serie A and the European Cup with the Bianconeri, lining up next to Gaetano Shirea and Michel Platini. He scored the winning goal in the Cup Winners' Cup final and was nicknamed Beauty at Night for his performances in European fixtures, traditionally played in the evening. And Boniek was an integral part of Poland's run to the World Cup semi-final in 1982, finishing as the third highest scorer behind Rummenigge and Paolo Rossi and beating Platini's France in the third place playoff. 6. Elias Figueroa The Chilean Beckenbauer Elias Figueroa was a classy central defender who spent the majority of his career with Brazil's Internacional and Uruguay's Peñarol, turning down Real Madrid in 1971. Famously genteel, Figueroa was sent off just once in 18 years and captained every side he played for. Figueroa was named South American Footballer of the Year three times in a row in the 70s over Zico and Pele and played in three World Cups, winning 47 caps for Chile. A superb reader of the game, Figueroa was adept at breaking up attacks and would often get forward in possession to create overloads. Pele called him the best Chilean player of all time and probably the finest central defender in the history of football in the Americas. That's good enough for us. 5. Dixie Dean Yeah, this guy was called Dixie. William Ralph Dean is an Everton legend and one of football's greatest goal scorers, hitting 395 goals in 447 games for the Toffees, as well as 18 goals in 16 games for England. 
twice a title winner, Dean's best season came when he was 20, as he scored a frankly ridiculous 60 goals in 39 league games, a record which, unsurprisingly, is yet to be beaten. In 11 of his 16 seasons as a pro, he bagged more than 20 goals, and in 5 seasons, he passed 30. And Dean became so famous that when an Italian soldier was captured by English soldiers during the Second World War, he told his captors, fuck your Winston Churchill and fuck your Dixie Dean. 4. Jalma Santos Any discussion of the greatest fullbacks of all time has to include Roberto Carlos and Cafu, but these giants of the game would not have existed without Jalma Santos. Santos spent his entire career in his native Brazil, playing more than 1,000 games for club and country, and winning three titles with Palmeiras. Dependable and intelligent in defence, Santos was one of the first fullbacks to push up in attack, providing a wide option with his pace and strength. Despite standing just 5'8", his anticipation enabled him to play as a centre-half, and he was never sent off in his 22 years in the game. Santos won the World Cup in 1958 and 62, and is one of just three players, along with Philipp Lahm and Franz Beckenbauer, to have been named to the team of the tournament at three different World Cups. Simply put, the right back changed the game forever. 3. Rivellino A star in a galaxy made of them, Rivellino was a gifted attacker, with some seriously elite moustache game. Capped 92 times by Brazil, he won the World Cup in 1970 as part of maybe the best national side ever assembled, featuring Jairzinho, Pele and Tostal. Though he never won a major trophy at club level, Rivellino made nearly 500 appearances for Corinthians and scored roughly a goal every three games from attacking midfield. His dribbling was legendary as he terrorised defences with his speed and skill, and he is also credited with inventing the flip-flap or elastico, later made famous by Ronaldo and Ronaldinho. Maradona named Rivellino as one of his childhood heroes, while Corinthians fans labelled him the King of the Park. And in 2015, he showed he still got it, performing his signature move at the ripe old age of 69. 2. Dragan Zajic Yugoslavian Dragan Zajic was a pacey left winger in the 60s and 70s, renowned for his technique and dribbling. Aside from a two-season spell in France with Bastia, Zajic spent his whole career with Red Star Belgrade winning five Yugoslavian titles and four domestic cups. Zajic scored 144 league goals in 361 games, but arguably saved his best football for the international stage, earning 85 caps for his country. In 1968, he was the European Championship's top scorer, as Yugoslavia finished second, and he came in third for that year's Ballon d'Or. Zajic holds the records for most appearances and most goals for Red Star, with an astonishing 370 strikes in 615 games, and he has twice served as the club president. He remains one of Eastern Europe's greatest ever products. 1. Gigi Riva Arguably the greatest Italian player of all time, Luigi Riva was a powerful centre-forward who spent almost his entire career with Cagliari, netting 207 goals in 374 games for the Rosso Blu. His wicked left foot earned him the nickname the Roar of Thunder and was reportedly so powerful that Cagliari's first choice keeper would often skip training to avoid it. With Riva leading the line, Cagliari won their first and only Serie A title in 1970, conceding just 11 goals in 30 games, and Gigi became capocannonieri for the third time. In 1968, Italy won the European Championship, while Riva made the team of the tournament alongside Zajic, and in 1970, he was part of the Azzurri side that lost in the final to a spectacular Brazil. He remains Italy's all-time top scorer, with 35 international goals in just 42 matches, and he was nominated for the Ballon d'Or on four occasions. And at Cagliari, the number 11 has been retired in his honour. So those were another 10 players that you should have heard of, but who would you have included? Let us know in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out episode three of Stat Wars, where I take on Chris Hamill at a series of quizzes and challenges. And as ever, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.